So what am I going to wear on my next cruise? That age old question is always hanging around. Well, I have several awesome Amazon finds for you today. And some of them I have already worn on cruises and some of them I have yet to wear, but I love them all. All of the links will be down in the description box below. So let's get started. This is one of my favorite outfits from Amazon. I bought it for an embarkation day and I ended up wearing it and I really liked it. It's a two piece, an actual two piece, and it has the slits up the side. I am about a size six, four and some things right now. When I gained 15 pounds since our last cruise in September, I was not able to get into the small anymore. I was around 140 at that time and I carry all my weight clearly in the bottom half and I was not able to wear a small anymore. It was just too tight. So if, you know, just gauge and look at the size chart on Amazon and it's accurate. I'm now lost nine pounds and so I'm in it now and everything's fine. But depending on how you carry your weight, I also added to this a, a little cami which I'll link these down below. I have them in white and black and the package came together with one white and one black and I will show it to you also without the cami so you can tell how much is going on up top if you don't want to wear it with the cami or if you do then you can find the link as with all these links below for the black and the white cami. It is a, a cropped cami so you don't have a lot of tucking in and added bulkage if you will around the middle because it just you know it's just a crop it's just half and so it takes care of anything that you need up top like a cami would but it doesn't add bulk to around your middle so this is a drawstring it's an actual drawstring it'll it'll loosen up or tighten up depending on how tight or loose that you tight the drawstring this is it's probably not actual linen <laughs> but it uh, wrinkles like linen and so I did iron this a little bit especially um, after it comes out of the laundry because I'll get a little closer here so you can see this is supposed to be like a ruffle type and this is too but it gets really wrinkled and like um, turned up on the ends after it comes out of the laundry and so I ironed it just on the ends and maybe around here I didn't iron the pants at all and they seem to be fine so this is what this one looks like and I have these flip-flops on too that I'll show you a little later. They're really comfortable and they're from Amazon too. But this is a great, I thought, like an embarkation day outfit or even a more active um, port day if you have like a tour city tour or something because it's cool. You know, it's a little airy, but it's not like short. So if you want just a little more coverage or you want something, you know, super cute, but you don't want to wear just shorts and a t-shirt, then I thought this was really cute. When I ordered it, it was not as much as it is now. <laughs> Some other influencers who have channels on IG and do fashion channels and all have linked it. And so the price has gone up. But when I bought it, it wasn't near as expensive. But I'm telling you, it comes in all these colors. And I'll show you. I'll put in some roll here for all these outfits and show you the colors available. Because it comes in white and yellow and blue. So whatever your skin tone um, might, if your skin tone is darker naturally, the white would look amazing. Um, and there's not a lot of tummy that shows here. Just a little bit. And it actually is, this is right at my waist. It's, I guess you could say high-waisted because it is right at my waist. It is not low slung at all. So it covers up a little bit of the tummy too and just shows a little bit there. So I just thought it was super cute. And just to give y'all a little better view of what it looks like without the cami on, I'm like an A cup. I'll be honest, I don't have a lot to show off or a lot to, you know, but I just, I like it with the cami. One, it's just a little more modest and that's just me. But two, I also don't have to worry about, you know, if I'm going to, fall out or what's falling out or anyway so if you're bigger up top you may enjoy the cami because then you can just go and do especially if you wear it for embarkation or for you know a busy port like touring day or something you just don't have to worry about what's going on up top but I, I wanted to show it to you without the cami so you can see like how much again I don't have a lot up top so there's not a lot to show or see but if you are larger and you do want to maintain a little more modesty then you can just buy the cami this is another great two-piece that is super super soft I like the little tuck in in the front you could tuck it in all the way around or just maybe do a little French tuck here in the front but it seriously feels like you're in your pajamas I wore it actually for a flight day on the way to the cruise port it, it this is an actual drawstring again it loosens or tightens as you loosen or tight and it's a jogger pant it has the bands at the bottom but it's just super 
loose and comfy. It seriously feels like you're in your pajamas. <laughs> and the sleeves are a little longer, again, with the stripes that match at the, bo at the bottom of the pants. Um, so like if you're freezing in the plane, you don't have something sleeveless on, you know. Um, and it does have pockets, which I absolutely love pockets. And so, you know, I just, I just, I felt like it was comfortable and easy. Um, when I went to the airport, I wore um, tennies, but I mean, you could wear flip-flops with it. So, you know, in the airport, you could slip off your shoes as you need to anyway. But I really thought this was cute. And again, it is so soft. It's got to be like a, I'm sure it's a cotton blend, but it's got to have some spandex in it too, because it's got a little bit of, of a, um, stretch in it. So you're also get, not going to be uncomfortable. Or if you wanted to, if you were somewhere with a more of a colder day or cloudy day in the Caribbean like this is, where it's not necessarily sun shining on you all day, you could even wear it on a port day. You know, that, that you don't have to bring a, a, a wrap or anything. Or, quite frankly, you could even wear it to dinner. I mean, these days, the MDRs aren't as specific about their rules for dress and all that. And it's a, it is a, a, a two-piece outfit, a separate shirt and pants. So, you know, you could wear it with, uh, again, flip-flops or whatever you wanted. You could get by with it for several things. And here's another jogger pant for you. These came separate, but they are both from Amazon. So the pants are, again, an actual drawstring, loosens or tightens, as you loosen or tighten the string, and pockets! Yay! We all love pockets. And they are jogger pants. They have the elastic down at the bottom. These are, I believe, a small. And again, when I gained some weight, they still fit fine. And now that I've lost some weight again, I mean, I think they're still cute. So, and the shirt comes in all different colors. And I'll show you here some, uh, some B-roll in between the shirt. Again, super soft. It's just cotton. All of them are sleeveless. All of them have like the America of some sort and the shades, the sun shades. They're really cute and super soft. And of course, this would be great on a sea day. I wore it on a sea day. Actually, when we did some activities, I did the... Uh, abyss on a Royal Caribbean ship, the dry slide that goes like seven floors <laughs> down. And it was very comfortable. I wore it with a pair of leggings. I also wore it to zip line. So you could actually wear this uh, for an active port day too. Um, of course, not beach day. Unless you wanted to wear it as a cover up, you could do that too. But I'm not sure that these joggers are available in this color anymore. If you can see, y'all can see that they're like a brown, tan pink and white. I'm not sure that they're available in this pink brown uh, color anymore. I think they only come in like a gray or maybe an, a literal green like green camo but they're super again super soft super comfortable come right out of the dryer. Both of these just come right out of the dryer just like this and you can just throw them on. They're very comfortable and they don't wrinkle real badly either in your suitcase um, getting ready for the cruise. You can't have a cruise clothing haul without a hat. And here's an awesome one I found on Amazon. It is 100% paper. At least that's what the tag says. And it's it doesn't move, so the brim is just gonna be like it is. I really like it because it keeps the sun off my ears and my neck a little bit and definitely out of my eyes. Um, you could wear it on like a port day or on a sea day. Um, you could even wear it to the beach. I mean, again, it's paper and it hasn't been affected when I've worn it like and it started sprinkling a little bit. It hasn't been affected. This band here is attached. It does not come off and it's got a little design there on the side that kind of adds to the character of the hat. Um, I, I just thought it was super cute and it has this design here on the top where it kind of folds in. I'll tell you when I pack our hats for our cruises, I pack them, of course, upside down and then all together with uh, JJ's hats for dinner or you know whatever his his beach hat I and then in the space of the hat you know it's upside down in the suitcase that space I put in like a jewelry bag or uh, my first aid kit or whatever in the space of the hat so that I'm not just wasting that space. There's a little extra packing tip for your clothing haul video and this is a jumpsuit y'all. I am a little obsessed with jumpsuits right now and this one is I just think super cute. Uh, this looks like a drawstring, but it is not. It is just an elastic waistband. It does not loosen or tighten, and it's pretty forgiving. Um, I bought this when I was 9, 10 pounds heavier, and I wore it for embarkation day. It was great because I didn't have to worry about anything falling out or, you know. It's got the little wide neck, 
so I do have a strapless bra on with it that's wise um, or if you have like a cami or a tank that you know is supposed to be seen because you need a little more support up top you could do that too and it would still look really cute but obviously the shoulder goes you know either way you could slip it off or or just wear it um, equal you know it will probably shift eventually for you throughout the day so you might as well just shift it over to one shoulder but again pockets yay for pockets and again this it comes in many different uh, colors and all the sizes you know from maybe extra small up to at least extra large if not larger and it's just again it's super soft it hangs very well I think it doesn't cling or anything to you know when you stand up or sit down it stays in place and I'm telling you this waistband is very forgiving unless you just really carry all your weight around the middle and you don't want to show that off at all and then you have the nice little skinny legs <laughs> like some of us do not have but if that's how you're shaped then maybe this shape is not for you but if you have any kind of waist at all even if you have some extra around the middle this is going to be very forgiving and I'll move up so you can kind of see how fluffy it is and you can pull it up or you know like if you're long-waisted maybe you could hang it down um, I'm about normal. I mean, I'm a petite. I'm just 5'3". So my waist is, I'm about equal from top and bottom. But I put it right at my waist and it just like blouses over and it could cover any little extra you have around the middle again. And again, I'm just, you know, I already said I'm obsessed with jumpsuits. Well, I'm also obsessed with pockets because we all, and if you have kids cruising with you too, you're always needing somewhere to stick something, a toy or a piece of gum or a Kleenex or something in. And so pockets are just really nice to have. Again, I'll show the other photos um, for the colors and everything that they have um, on Amazon. I just thought this was really comfortable and kind of classy too if you wanted to again wear it for dinner with heels you could do that too you could dress it up because it could definitely be dressed up or down um, depending on you know your jewelry and your footwear now I want to show you these t-shirts okay what's the big deal about a t-shirt Sherry I can get a t-shirt anywhere well as you can see it's a little different and I'll come a little closer to show you it's got these capped sleeves if you are someone who doesn't necessarily just want to go completely sleeveless but you know it's hot it's a cruise and so you want a little bit of coverage a little more coverage for your arm than what a sleeveless or a tank top or something would show this is perfect plus it's just got a little you know I think character to it because it's got a little design it's got a cover obviously under here so your bra or skin or whatever doesn't show but it looks like from the front that it might be open because of the design so I just love them again they're super soft I ordered it in this teal color and in a white it's got a regular you know t-shirt hem um, at the bottom you could tuck it in or leave it out or tie it up in a little knot on the side if you wanted to and I wore this on a sea day you know one time and the t-shirt actually the white one and this one actually I wear to work with a jacket or whatever I, I love them both they're again very super soft and they just give a little extra <clears throat> than a regular just a regular t-shirt these are also separates let's go with the pants first I just found these on Amazon and I love them. They do not have a drawstring. They are a flat front elastic, look at this, elastic waist, y'all. This is a small and pockets, let's celebrate the pockets once again. They are loose and airy. They're like uh, a linen, I think it may even say they're linen, but they're absolutely not linen. They're more like a polyester, maybe with that. They don't have any spandex, any stretch in them at all. But I mean, I got a small and y'all can tell how, you know, tell how loose they are. They are, they feel lovely. I don't know how they're going to launder yet, but I can't imagine because they're not actual linen. They look like linen though. Um, I don't know if I can get close enough for you to tell really what they look like. They move like linen, I'll have to say. And I love the pockets and the flat front. There's no drawstring or anything, but it's, um, it's pretty slenderizing. Um, I, I, think, I think it's pretty slenderizing. Now you can see the entire, if you wanted to, you know, tuck in a shirt or uh, wear it to dinner with a bl this blouse or any other blouse, it's just, um, I just think it's very flattering and it's very comfortable. You could wear it with a pair of heels for dinner, totally get by with this, or you could just wear it with like a tank top. Uh, for a sea day or if you're just going to go walk around the port because again they're not thick at all they're very flimsy I'm going to say in a good way and airy and so I don't think they're going to be very warm 
if you wanted to wear them around a Caribbean port of some type. Now the shirt. This shirt comes in 500 colors. <laughs> Okay, maybe not 500. It seems like it though, and obviously I'll show you some footage here that you can see the different colors this comes in. And I just think it is super cute and very flattering. It is obviously is off the shoulder, or if you wanted to, you know, you could wear it up on the shoulder. I, I like it off the shoulder and it stays up on, I don't know if I'm knocking the microphone around, but it stays up on the shoulders pretty well. I wore this for an interview with the executive chef on Wonder of the Seas that when it was brand new and you know I was moving my arms and talking to him and everything and it it did not pop back up. Sometimes the off the shoulder blouses will you know if you move your arms or raise your arm to say hi to someone you know it'll they'll pop back up but this one this one does not come off um, it come out of place maybe I should say it does not so I thought it was really cute um, if you wanted to wear it out with uh, maybe you know some tighter pants or something you could if you kind of carry your weight around the middle it's very loose again this is a small so it has plenty of room I just like the you know the kind of French the half French tuck to kind of show my waist because I'm a shorty and so I like to show the length of my legs but the material of the blouse is I'd say probably polyester. It's very soft, very, very soft. And it comes out of the dryer like this. There's no need to iron it or anything. It just pops right out of the dryer and you could just put it on. I wash all these clothes that I'm showing you in cold wash. And then I'm trying to think if some of them, if I hang dry, I might. I follow the tag, quite frankly. I just always wash most of my things in cold because I just don't want to take the chance. And you know, these days the machines are good and the detergents are good. So I wash almost everything in cold, but this comes out of the dryer um, really nicely. And it also gives you a little bit of coverage. Again, we talked about the arms. Um, if your arms aren't whatever, you know, everybody thinks is perfect, whatever. You got a little coverage on the arms, but you know, this is usually, the decollete is usually a, an attractive part of a woman's body no matter what size she is and so you could show off your collarbones <laughs> and your neck um, again this is a dinner blouse as well um, you could wear this whole outfit in fact with a pair of heels or even with a pair of flip-flops like I am for dinner and you would be perfectly fine and you would fit in just right so but this gives you a little coverage if you get cold and also if you just don't want to show your arms off this blouse y'all was a super sleuth find of mine it is a it's a faux crossbody it has a little snap here in the middle and this is also one that you might consider wearing a a little cami under i have it pulled back a little bit if i pull it all the way forward where the seams are right on top of my shoulders i got a little cleavage going on there and you may not like that but if i pull it back just a little bit um, I'm more comfortable with that and it still basically it looks the same when I wear it to work I wear a little cami or a little lace tank top under it so that again I don't have to worry about what might be showing or popping out but you're on a cruise and especially if you're on a Caribbean cruise I mean you know big deal people are walking around in bikinis so you can um, be a little more you know carefree with your clothing again this is a great dinner blouse um, because it has several different colors in it. You know, you got your greens and your blues and your orange and your yellow. Um, this only comes in one color. But the reason I said this was a super find of mine is because I first saw it on Shein. And I thought, oh, what a super cute blouse. And, but it was a little more than I wanted to pay. And so I just, you know, like copy and pasted the title of the blouse. And I went to Amazon thing less expensive and the exact same shirt from the exact same you know manufacturer vendor whatever so um and uh it's it's great again very loose and airy it's probably some kind of polyester um no stretch at all but it is very loose it does have the elastic band at the bottom so again if you um want to um if you have a little bit of a waist any kind of waist at all and um i have these same black pants on that I showed you earlier that have the elastic at the top um, and they fit just you know perfectly and that's what I wear to work with it I just wear kind of a high waist because if not you're going to be showing a, a little bit of skin if you don't mind showing skin again it's a Caribbean cruise if you don't mind showing skin then you can wear a little low slung some low slung shorts or something and you'll have that little strip of skin you know that might be cute showing if you want to wear it to dinner 
or I mean they wear all kinds of things to dinner too now <laughs> on cruise ships but if you wanted to wear it to dinner and not have you know a lot of skin showing then make sure you have a high waisted because this doesn't come down very low and if it did it's not going to stay the minute you move your arms around it's going to pop up right back about to wherever your waist is and so I would recommend wearing kind of a high waisted pair of pants but again these pair of pants that I showed you earlier are kind of perfect because they're they're at they're right at my waist and they have pockets and they're loose and they're airy and you could add a heel if you wanted to or you could wear it with a pair of shorts if you wanted to um, for a port day or a sea day or for dinner I mean you can wear shorts ladies to the men too to the uh, main dining room these days too most of them some ships have um, actually started enforcing i know the ncl has a manhattan dining room that they actually enforce you know no shorts the dress coat on but most of the regular main dining rooms on ships they're going to let you wear shorts so this uh, would be cute with pants or shorts and you can't have a cruise clothes haul without a maxi dress of course i really like this one for a couple of reasons one it, it doesn't have a regular waist. If you wore this towards the end of your cruise, you might not want to be have anything tight <laughs> around your waist, as we all know. You get busy at the buffet and the MDR and all the other eating venues, and by the end of the cruise, you want kind of something loose. But this still looks really nice for dinner, um, you know, or even on a sea day. So this is probably a cotton material, and as I said, the waist is like an umpire what they call an umpire waist it's not because my waist is like right here this is my waist down here so it's under the breast line but not down to your waist this is also good for women who carry their weight in their middle whether you've been on a cruise or not <laughs> if you carry the majority of your weight around your abdomen your middle then this cuts above where the majority of your weight is. And so it cuts into where you are your thinnest. And this is an actual drawstring. It loosens and tightens. If I were to loosen it all the way out, it, it loosens all the way out. You know, it's just pretty loose. It's pretty loose here, as you can see. Or you can tighten it for a little more shape, shaping. If you are smaller around that rib cage area, then it, um, tightens up a little bit and shows off a little bit of your shape again pockets celebrating the pocket and I will say the length uh, might be <laughs> not good for some again I'm just 5'3 and I'm wearing flat pretty flat flip-flops and it's not all the way to the floor on me as you can see it's got a good two three inches from the ground or from the back of my shoe, which again though, just makes it easy to get around up and down the stairs on the ship and you know, sitting down and getting up in the theater or wherever you know, you're gonna be, the, the main dining room. Um, I, I like the straps too. There's nothing super revealing on top and it covers you know, this area here <laughs> under your arms pretty well. And the back course has got that cute little tie there also that I thought was um, kind of special for the design this also comes in many different colors and designs i just picked the black and white because i i do wear a lot of black but i don't wear a lot of black and white and so i thought well this is kind of classy and just you know simple um for the again mdr for dinner or whatever in the evening they have it in a lot of different colors and designs so you can pick however bright or muted you want to be ironically enough as you could tell in the clips before it was cloudy, very cloudy where I live in Texas. It is now literally raining. So I say ironically enough because right as we get to um, swimwear covers, it starts raining and I have to come out of the sun under the cover. But this beach cover, I absolutely love. As you can tell, it is full length. And again, I'm 5'3". I'm wearing some higher flip-flops this time just because I don't like it uh, dragging. So if you are shorter than 5'3 and or you're not wearing a little bit of lift you might need to hem it or cut it off or whatever I mean it's a beach cover so you could just cut it off without hemming it and you'd be fine it is in the style of a long button-up shirt so it literally has buttons all the way up to your neck and then all the way down 
So, and the sleeves are also long. If you get in port and have a rainy day like today, the sleeves are long. I just have them pulled up on themselves because I just like them pulled up. But if you wanted to wear them down and buttoned, you would be completely covered. If you want to get out of the sun for a little bit too, you'd be completely covered from head to toe. Again, it's full length and very flowy, very roomy. I believe it's one size fits all. And in the listing for this on Amazon, it has many other styles. So you have to look for this style particularly if you like this one, but there are many other styles on this one entry in Amazon. So all of the entries are not this style in different colors. In fact, this is the only one that's this style. That's just like a, a button up, just kind of a classy white button up. Um, and I wore this on one of our beach excursions and it was lovely because then I could walk back and forth uh, to the restroom or to get food or wherever and feel, you know, covered. If you don't want to be covered, that's fine too. But usually when I'm going to eat or just going to the restroom, you know, I'm not trying to get any sun. I just want to get to where I'm going. And so I want to have everything covered. But if you did want to like wear it more open or all the way open, you know, you could do that. And it's still pretty much stays in place and covers, you know? I mean, it's not gonna like flap open. If you wanted it to flap open, it would, but I like it because I usually just, you know, I can uh, get up from my chair on the beach or by the pool, do a couple of buttons and head to wherever I'm going without concern of having to tie or, you know, do something complicated with my cover. And so that's one of the reasons I, I love it. Plus, I think it's just kind of a really classy, you know, especially for, I'm going to say us older, some of us older women. I mean, I'm 52. It's not like I'm ancient, but, you know, I'm not 22 anymore. And so I just like to look a little classy. It's got slits on both sides. And so, again, you know, it's very airy and very breezy. If you wanted to, though, it has buttons all the way down to my knee. It's got buttons all the way down to here right there so you could just show from your knees down if you wanted um, once you come off the beach um, transportation to and from the beach it's nice because you just you know put it you, you sit down in the bus and you put it up on your lap and it's not in the way anywhere you know and then you get out on the beach and you have it you have it full length and this swim cover I just found on Amazon and I think it's super cute as well. It's a little more less covered. As you can tell, you know, the top is gonna, you know, show whatever you got showing from your bathing suit. But again, it's a swim cover. So, you know, you're in a bathing suit. It's just covering up your bathing suit. It kind of, these tassels kind of make it look like it's a hoodie, but it is not a hoodie. It's just got these tassels for decoration, which I think are kind of cute too. And then it's got the little pocket in front, which could, you could put something in there if you needed to put like your, your cruise card in there, your room card if you needed to, or, you know, to take with you to the bar to get a drink, you know, um, you could do that too. It has these slits on the side. Um, they're not too revealing, but you know, depending on how short or tall you are, it comes down with the tassels. It comes down pretty far. I mean, it comes down past my knees in the back and to my knees in the front. Again, I'm just five, three. So it comes also, uh, as most of these do, and I'll show in different colors, it comes in a white and a cream as well, I believe. I liked this one just because the color added a little character to it. You got your golds and your blues and your pinks in it. And I thought it was super cute and functional. Well, you know, you just need something to throw on. And again, there's just like the other one, there's no thing to tie up or do. You just put it over your head and head to the bathroom or the bar or the food or wherever it is that you're going by the pool. You don't have to like tie and, you know, worry about anything. You just put it over your head and go. Now I wanted to show y'all a couple of pair of shoes I got on Amazon that I wear all the time on cruises. I talked about this jumpsuit earlier about dressing it up. So I have added some more bling, more blingy or blingier jewelry to it for dinner. And I'm wearing these clear heels. Now I will show you a close up of them, but as you can tell, they're not very high. They're probably about three inches and they have no color on them. 
They are clear plastic across the top of the foot and they have a heel on them that is extremely comfortable and steady. I mean, I don't walk in my four inches like I did when I was 22 anymore, but I still like a little bit of height because I'm kind of a shorty. And so I think they're perfect. One of the reasons too, I'm wearing it with this jumpsuit is so you can actually see the shoe. <laughs> the shoe's not hid by the pants or by a skirt of a dress. But now uh, I'll show you a close up of the shoe. So here's the shoe close up and obviously you can see it on Amazon too and I'll leave the link and show some pictures here. The bottom of mine is just a neutral tan color and as you can see the the heel is I mean I think it's three it might be four by the time you get up to the top here but it's very walkable for me because of this being wider the bottom is not a stiletto bottom it's a wide bottom as you could tell this piece right here widens out as it gets to the base and it's you can you can order them as you can see here with different colored the base of the shoe is different colors they have like green and orange and you know if you want to bling it up a little but i just wanted a neutral heel so i would have to bring one heel on my cruise that's all I wanted to do. As you all know, if you've cruised, shoes take up a lot of room in your luggage and there's no reason to bring more than one color heel. No one really is gonna be looking at your shoes, I promise. <laughs> I haven't ever looked at any woman's shoes except to say maybe, oh, that's a cool shoe. But I haven't ever judged her on what heel she's wearing, whether it's clear or black or neutral or red or whatever, like it doesn't really matter. And this is a neutral heel that I can wear if I want to dress up for the evening, I can. And if I don't, then I don't have to, but at least I have a heel that goes with black and goes with gray and goes with red and goes with orange and goes with any color I might, or goes with animal print, any color I might want to wear for dinner. And this heel being broader at the bottom really helped me feel more secure in them. And the second pair I wanted to show you was this neutral pair of flip-flops that I've been wearing throughout this whole video with most of the outfits I've shown you simply because they are so crazy comfortable. As you'll see, they have a very small heel, like maybe an inch, an inch and a half, but they are very comfortable on the top of my foot. And they, um, they go with, again, they're neutral. They go with everything. Although these also come, Murphy wanted to join the video and help with the shoe presentation. They come in all different kind of colors. So let me show you a close-up of this shoe as well. So this shoe is, again, super comfortable. I mean, look how flexible it is. This is the neutral one, but it does come in black and gray and blue and some other colors. Again, this heel is, I think that may be exactly an inch, but it's got a little bit of, well, not a little, it's got quite a lot of cushion on it. And this does not cut into my foot. That's a problem I was having with regular flip-flops that I had ordered, just like the cheap kind you get at Walmart or whatever. I was having a problem with them. If I walked in them for a little while, I was having a problem with them digging into my feet right here and leaving marks. This one doesn't. I have walked on it uh, with it on my foot for quite a distance and no digging because this is, it may actually be actual leather. And this, as you'll see, isn't a super um, expensive flip-flop I spent more than I usually do on flip-flops because it's a flip-flop but this being so soft and the underside is material this top part is leather but the underside is material and so I think that helps it not dig in also this toe piece is not too long and I say that knowing everyone's foot is different however I have some pairs of more blingy flip-flops that this toe piece is so long that then my foot like flips up and down, it flops up and down in it instead of being secure in the flip-flop. So I really like the length of the, the toe piece as well as this material here inside really helps it not cut in. So I really, and again, that it comes in black and gray and all different kind of colors really helps as well. Well, that is the haul, y'all. And if you're not sure about what gear to take on your next cruise, check out this video right here. Thanks and be blessed.